Kim Hyuna, a name that resonates with old and new K-pop fans, a name of a female K-pop idol that brought sexy to K-pop, an idol that fell in love and also fell out of favor of her own company. Today we're going to take a look at Hyuna's history, how she got into K-pop, her fallout with Cube Entertainment, where she is now, but most importantly, how she's planning her return. But before looking forward, I always like to look back. Before K-pop, Hyuna had a passion for acting. By the age of 7, Hyuna already auditioned 50 times and have failed all of them. With a future in acting seeming slim, she put that dream on hold. That is, until high school, where Hyuna started to have an interest in dance. That is how Hyuna began her journey in K-pop stardom. In a small company, you, you may have heard it before, um, JYP Entertainment. Soon after falling in love with dance, she passed her first JYP audition. From failing 50 to now passing her first ever K-pop audition. And so in 2007, Hyuna was revealed as the main rapper of JYP's new girl group, Wonder Girls. Hyuna debuted at such a young age at only 14 years old. While Hyuna in Wonder Girls isn't the Hyuna we know today, it was sure a fantastic experience. Sadly though, Hyuna wouldn't be there for Wonder Girls breakout song Nobody, because not even a year after debuting, Hyuna left Wonder Girls and JYP. See, while promoting on Wonder Girls, Hyuna was battling with health issues, being diagnosed with chronic gastroenteritis, and had numerous fainting incidents. With the help of her parents asking her to be removed from the group to focus on her health, JYP agreed, and in July 2007, Hyuna's contract was terminated and she left Wonder Girls. Luckily, taking that time to rest and recover, she was back to full health, but she wouldn't shake that urge to return to K-pop. And so, with her name already known by K-pop insiders, Hyuna participated in an SM Entertainment Best Youth Selection and came in first in the dance category. Somehow, it didn't work out at SM and Hyuna was left with no agency again. That is, until Cube Entertainment came calling in 2008. See, Q was already eyeing Hyuna even before forming their new girl group for Minute, calling the group Hyuna Group before debut, using the hype of Hyuna coming from a well-known group like Wonder Girls to get people talking about their new girl group. And it worked. As 4Minute, a four-member girl group with the poster girl Hyuna, debuted in 2009 with Hot Issue. Here in 4Minute, Hyuna started to show her own colors and vocal and rap. Within the next year, 4Minute was doing well, and Hyuna was able to branch out into doing collaborations with other artists. Cube knew that bringing in Hyuna was also going to bring in eyes, and those eyes wanted to see Hyuna. So Cube announced that Hyuna would be doing her first ever solo. And so in 2010, Hyuna debuted solo with the song Change. change, change, change. You know, looking at it today, it seems pretty safe, but actually it wasn't. It was considered provocative in K-pop at the time, receiving a rating of 19 plus. Even though she was 18 at the time, I don't, my math is terrible, but even I, that makes, that make that makes no sense. But this is the first time we got to see Hyuna as the Hyuna everyone grew to know. Rap, vocals, and dancing, a triple threat in K-pop at such a young age. During 2010 and 2011, Hyuna promoted with 4Minute releasing singles such as I, My, Me, and Mine, Y, and Mirror, Mirror. While in 2011, Hyuna made the breakout comeback that kickstarted her whole solo career. Bubble Pop was the biggest hit in K-pop that year. It was a summertime bop and it had such an addicting chorus. Hyuna was doing this way before today where showing skin and dancing sexy is the norm now. You could say she paved the way for female artists in K-pop? I'm sticking by that. Just don't at me. Who, who, put my, who put my Twitter? Now Bubble Pop did extremely well in Korea, but not only that, it went viral. All around the world, the Bubble Pop music video was being watched and eventually smashed 100 million views, making Hyuna the first K-pop solo artist to do it. Publications began talking about this girl Hyuna, like Billboard naming her one of the top 21 acts under 21 of 2011, since Hyuna was only 19 then. Seeing Hyuna's popularity skyrocket, Cube made a smart move. One, two. Three. Hyuna teamed up with label mate Hyunsung from Beast to form a duo known as Troublemaker. I may have gotten an F in chemistry, but I know chemistry when I see it. Troublemaker is a seductive, funky dance track. You just don't see K-pop companies trying this anymore. Co-ed groups and duos are uncommon in K-pop, but Q was doing it a decade ago. Up until now, Hyuna and Cube made some pretty good moves, but nothing... 
as big as what happened in 2012. Okay, to be fair, no one knew that this was gonna blow up like it did. Hyuna just so happened to be the lead actress in Gangnam Style. It introduced a whole new audience to Hyuna, and even me. I saw Gangnam Style when it popped off, and I also saw Hyuna, and I was like, I could make my whole life about this. And then I did. <laughs> Later, there was a remake of Gangnam Style with Hyuna actually in the song, and it did nothing but help the spread of K-pop and Hyuna. Although she didn't really sound like her normal self, more like a K-pop Pikachu. <laughs> Continuing the momentum and friendship with Sai, Hyuna released a new track, Ice Cream. <laughs> More hip hop as it was produced by the Bray Brothers. In 2012, without a doubt, was Hyuna's golden year. In 2013, Hyuna made her first ever US appearance performing at South by Southwest, K pop Night Out in Austin, Texas. I would have killed to breathe the same air as Hyuna, but it's cool. It's cool. I got no problems. It's fine. It's fine. It's not like I would build a time machine or anything to go back there just, just, just to do it for the sake of doing it, you know? You know? Troublemaker would then make a return with the song Now, a darker, edgier, and more touchy than before. And in 2014, guess what? Red was the song and um, I can't even describe what is happening on the screen, I, I, I just can't. Red was another viral hit as it got named by Rolling Stone as the top 10 music videos of the year. A year passed and Hyuna would then grace K-pop with another song that pushed that sexy boundary, what's a large, uh, 500 yards. Do you understand how powerful this woman is? God damn! With Hyuna killing it solo, there was someone Cube forgot. Four minute. Four minutes contracts were expiring in 2016, with none of them resigning, except for one. Hyuna would be the only one resigning, and it is commonly said that Cube focused on Hyuna more than four minute, and I can see how that can be true. With four minute gone, it was just Hyuna, but there would be a love brewing as the new boy group Pentagon debuted out of Cube, which we'll talk about later. Another comeback for Hyuna was in store in How's This. <laughs> Man, what kind of club is this? Hyuna brought East and West into this club banger. Then in 2017, Cube planned something different. With this new boy group Pentagon, they wanted to promote the group along with Hyuna, and so Triple H was formed. A triplet group with Hyuna, Hui, and Idon. Triple H debuted with 365 So Fresh, and it was guaranteed fresh. I'm 365 So Fresh. It was something so out of the blue, a music video involving suicide, death, and mental stress, drugs, and sex. I mean, what's left? Yet, it still vibed, and there was a hint of love between Hyuna and Idon. Well, a huge hint, but it was it was just for the music video. Right? Later that year, Hyuna promoted with two new comebacks in Bebe and Lip and Hip. Bebe pulled back the curtain on the music industry in the lyrics, and Lip and Hip is probably the most extreme Hyuna has been in showcasing sex appeal for females. Late 2018, K-pop's favorite triplets were back. Triple H went retro again with Retro Future. Man, I'm bobbing my head right now. This is, this is so good. Retro Future brought back a sample of Grandmaster Flash, a pioneer of American hip hop. The song is a fusion of both retro and future, just like the name says. But during promotion for Retro Future, Hyuna and Idon came out with some news. They said they were dating since 2016. This comes as a shock to K-pop fans, even with the skinship and previous music videos between the two. And like all dating news in K-pop, it comes with controversy. Cube halted and canceled all Triple H promotions. Hyuna simply just wanted to come out with the news on her own terms. But now Cube had to make the next move. And that move was the dumbest thing I've seen in K-pop in my whole life. It was announced Hyuna and Idon would be leaving Cube Entertainment. That bombshell caught everyone off guard. Hyuna would be leaving a company she's been with for 10 years. And Idon would be leaving his new group 
and his brand new career in K-pop. When it all seemed like the world was against them, an old friend reached out a hand. Psy has already left YG Entertainment and set up his own label, P Nation in 2019, in which he signed rapper Jesse, and soon after, Hyuna and even Edon. What a story, man. Oh my god, it warms my heart. But it doesn't end there. Since signing with P Nation, Hyuna hasn't had much activity, with many fans anxious for Hyuna's return, which could be happening faster than you think. As just recently, label mate Jessie has created her own YouTube channel, which looks like where music videos will be released for her, even teasing with some pictures, and now a legit teaser for her single Who Dat Be. Is it is it Who Dat Be? It's Who Dat Be. <laughs> <laughs> Hyuna has also did her bit of teasing on Instagram, uploading this photo that says Hyuna Ing. Is this a comeback teaser or something else? Well, A Ing is actually Hyuna's fandom name, but it could also be her setting up her own YouTube channel like Jessie did. But with Jessie getting the ball rolling for comebacks from people in P Nation, I believe Hyuna is soon to follow. Hyuna undoubtedly has an amazing career in K-pop, but it didn't come without some backlash. Imagine being so young and pushing against what is socially acceptable at the time, having strangers call you names, but Hyuna didn't stop. In fact, she kept going, and it paid off in the end. Hyuna and Idon, without knowing it, could have also done something for K-pop idols. Where dating news is still seen as a bad thing, they made it into a great thing, which it should be. Hyuna is just a human after all. Or, as many fans like to say, God is a woman, and her name is Hyuna. Thank you all so much for watching and I'm doing a little bit more different setup here as you can see I went all the way over that I can walk look I have legs and I'm very tall I'm six foot nine but thank you so much for watching if you really did enjoy please get this video a like and if you're new and you want to join my fandom they're called the wave it's more of a community it's kind of weird to call it a fandom but if you want to join simply hit the subscribe button and that bell so you get notified whenever I upload a new what happened video and I'm working on this is how twice was formed you better watch it big thanks to my patrons making these videos possible shout out to them awesome people if you want to help out and become elite like the people on patreon head over to patreon consider supporting as little as two dollars a month if you can't help out on patreon no worries check out more of my videos down below click one of these another what happened video so you get more knowledge on the k-pop history and it really helps out on this video's performance so please click and watch one of those down below that's it for me wave thank you so much for watching and remember this is how twice a form video dropping on the 24th or if not the day twice comes back. But anyways, have a fantastic weekend, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Annyeong!